Okay, Irene, you played yes. against um, Hussein today, mm -hmm. how to draw. Tell us something about the game. Well, it was started out uh, Berlin, so it was kind of like expected that uh, it might be, you know, like a very balanced game. And uh, we managed to avoid it, the infamous drawing line, you know, like with the this Berlin type, like, you know, like, after queen d6, queen e4, queen e6, and so on. So, uh, but yeah, it turns out in the end it was still pretty equal. But I do miss one chance where I could have just um, turned the table around and I only found it only after I played my next move. So during the game, I was kind of like, okay, after I, I realized that I missed my chance, I was like, okay, Irene, stay calm, stay calm. You're still, you're still playing a game because it's very easy to be emotional and then be angry to yourself and then uh, affected the way you're thinking. But after I missed that chance, uh, the rest of the game was still pretty much equal. Then we agreed to join mm -hmm. the end. But he thought he was doing quite well and you thought you were doing, doing quite well. Is that right? Yeah, that was right because... Um, he thought he had some uh, counter attack somewhere with the bishop or something, but I have I have my my own pass one on e5, which uh, pretty much blocking his whatever like his his, his pieces and things, and uh, I was trying to make something work out, but yeah, I couldn't. Also, he couldn't do anything. I also already checked it uh, after the game. Yeah, it was pretty much equal. Right. Okay. Let's have a look at the game. Okay, we've got a Berlin defense here. Yeah. Show us what happened. All right, so, okay, like e4, e5, knight f3, knight c6, uh, bishop b5, knight f6. Okay, I was also preparing something else here, uh, not knight f6, but g6, and also the main uh, Spanish. But okay, he went with Berlin. Also, I think in the first round, he played against uh, Gunai, Mohamed Zada, also played Berlin, but I chose different, different variation this time. So, castle, knight e4, d4. Uh, here takes and then a4. So this is pretty much a standard uh, mm -hmm. position. And here he played knight d4. And then I took, and this is something that we avoided in the game. Like uh, we didn't want to, well, I didn't ask him, but uh, I wouldn't have gone to this variation anyway. So this is like the infamous drawing position. Oh, yes. Yeah. So. Not We're, in the spirit of the yeah, battle of the sexes. Exactly. This is, this is the piece of the sexes, isn't it? <laughs> so, okay, coming back to the <laughs> eighth yeah, move. D5, yeah. So he played d5 instead of uh, taking uh, on my knight. And here I played c3. Uh, he said he never saw this variation before. I think I've shown, I've shown it uh, somewhere. I, I can't remember, but uh, this was at the back of my head. So after here, bishop e7, yeah, this, this is pretty much still equal. So still trying to um, get my pieces out. Uh, bishop e3, castle, and then take on c6, b6, and then, um, wait, okay. And then I play knight d2, yeah? yeah. And then he took, and then in this position, he played bishop f5. And yeah, I mean, my bishop is still, it, it is in a good diagonal, so um, I put my knight here just to help it. And then here, queen e8 was played. And then in this position, I thought it's time to exchange something. So uh, after knight d4, he played queen here. And then, yeah, so the rest is pretty much balanced. So wait, I didn't take. I played I play queen d4, yeah? Queen d4, yeah. Queen, okay, I played queen d4, but then he took. Oi, 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 just a minute. Rook, rook okay. takes. Yeah. Um, get rid of that, yeah. Takes, takes, yeah. And then here he played f5, which I think is a good move because that is uh, Black's weakness. Okay, a few moves uh, in the game, we were just kind of dancing around with our pieces, but then there was one moment where I actually missed my chance. And I think that was the only chance during the game that I could uh, turn the table around. So in this position, yeah, he played rook b8. Mm -hmm. So this was kind of like uh, bluffing me because um, all I wanted is to get rid of any pawns in this uh, C file. So I didn't take, but I should have taken. So this, this was the bluff. So it takes, takes. I think what he wanted to do is if I took this pawn, that this bishop comes over here. And then oh. wherever the rook goes, there is bishop b6 Trouble. and then securing my 
my mm. queen. But yeah. in this position, exactly, I stopped my calculation, and then that's why I decided to play a different move. No, but don't. <laughs> <laughs> this is this is my blunder or, or okay. my mistake. I should have I should have calculated further because okay. here I missed this tactic. Like aye, aye, aye. rook takes g7, king g7, and then this is just a pawn. Wow, so you just taken b8 and you're a pawn up. Yeah, if queen here, oh, okay, I have additionally this if I want to, I guess. Yeah. Yeah, and then uh, if, I, if, I, if I don't do that, like um, even taking and taking it, I think, okay, take is definitely better. But it's just, in the end, it, it will be like an extra pawn for me. Mm -hmm. So this is exactly what I mean. So right. probably this is going to be my lesson that, you know, when you are about to stop calculating the lines, yeah. try one move further. Maybe yeah. look over the horizon. Exactly. Yeah. So uh, I didn't do the... that. Yeah. So after rook b8, I play bishop d2. Okay. And then here he fought for quite a while. And I was like trying to check the previous line that, mm, is it really working uh, that bishop bishop d8 variation? And then he, in this position, I, I realized that I missed my chance. Like, oh, I missed rook g7. So you went back and analyzed it. I went it. back to analyze it because I still have some doubt over my calculation. No, I, I believe there is something, but I couldn't figure out what it was. But and then And then after this, I managed to find out what I missed and I got so angry. I got so angry, um, you know, uh, and I was trying to actually stay calm because uh, this is the moment when if I got too emotional, I would affect mm. the way I'm playing. So, yes. uh, yeah, I tried to forget what happened. And then, yeah, but the rest of the game, it was pretty much equal. Uh, we couldn't get any any other um, chances for both white and black. So, mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, in the end, uh, I think... Yeah, the king goes here, king goes there, and then in the end, it will yeah. just repeat some just moves. Just peters out. To, yeah, to but there was a pity. It would have it would have been a good uh, tactical line if it was playing out. <laughs> but yeah, yeah. anyway, and your team needed it as well. Yeah, uh, I know. Struggling today. So. I know. I was waiting for that exact moment because well, chess is an equal game, of course. But then mm -hmm. you're waiting for your opponent to make a mistake or you know be. <laughs> Uh, not too much, not not being careful like what he did during the game, like rook b8. He also missed there is rook g7. He thought that he could bluff me by playing bishop d8, but actually it was the other way around. Yeah. Okay. Thank you very much. <laughs> Thank you.